Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, this is DDB coming to you. This is uh, me reviewing the uh, WrestleMania. I guess I should put it on a side. It actually says what it is. The WrestleMania Anthology set. This is a set that probably came out in 2006 or 2007. I've had it since the day it was uh, released. I pre-ordered it. Uh, I believe this came from a site like Circuit City or uh, Borders. I can't remember. I remember I used a hell of a discount code. Uh, that I found out, and I got this for uh, probably just a little bit more than a hundred dollars uh, when it first came out. I wanted to make a video about this right now, mostly for the fact that WWE is going to be releasing the first fifteen WrestleManias uh, on single disc sets. Um, those are going to be selling for what looks like about eleven dollars on sale when they first come out. If you buy through Amazon. I'm the kind of DVD uh, collector that buys everything, and I am mad that they are coming out. Um, but I am buying them for the fact that I have to have them for my collection because I believe in my collection, and that's the kind of guy I am. Dropping $170 on those today. Feel pretty stupid, feel pretty dumb, but it is what it is. Uh, this set can still be purchased on um, Amazon uh, for about $85. And it is one hell of a deal, and it should be in your wrestling collection if it's not in there. A lot of people pick this apart for um, early on in some uh, WrestleManias. There are some themes used, such as Hogan's theme at WrestleMania 1 or Coco Beware's theme at WrestleMania 3 um, are you know, not the real themes. Honestly, when I watch them, I honestly can't know. I think they do a pretty good job of dubbing over the uh, themes. Now, when it comes to blurs... Um, blurs don't really bother me for a point, but, um, sometimes when the whole screen is pretty much blurred, it's hard to see past it. I mean, I buy these sets for remembering what was going on and, um, it just, uh, it, it's, it's a feel good. I mean, like, uh, just remembering everything that was going on, you know, around that time, watching superstars, watching the WrestleMania wrestling challenge and other things like that. I mean, a whole lot goes along with it besides for what's just going on in the ring. Uh, the, the, the set is, uh, is gold, uh, to me. I mean, honestly, I think it's uh, if you're a real wrestling collector, you should get the, uh, the later WrestleManias with the scratch logo. Uh, you should get the, uh, regular ones that come out, but you should still have this in your set. Uh, cause it is a, uh, it is a must have. If you look at it, I have it turned the wrong way. I have WrestleMania 4 in there, but it has uh, each volume of WrestleManias that you are able to go out to stores and buy uh, singly, if you can. Uh, WWE uh, Shop has been selling these um, uh, for, for pretty cheap on clearance. You can also buy them other places. I think Volume 4 is the one set out of here that I think is kind of rare, kind of expensive. That goes up and down sometimes. But you have 1 through 5, 6 through 10, 11 through 15, and 16 through 20. And then one reason to buy the anthology is the uh, peekaboo. Oh, look, there's me in uh, my phone. Uh, WrestleMania 21 there inside the lid. Um, WrestleMania 21 is not a DVD that's going to kill you. You go out and buy it new, more than likely you'll get it for about $10 used. I'm sure you can get it way cheaper than that. But these are full of awesome memories. Um, when these came out, they came with four wrestling cards, most, most uh, much like the um, uh, Royal Rumble set. I sold those for $50 uh, to, to make... Uh, to, to help me pay for this set. I just didn't think there would be something that I was collecting, and I haven't seen them sell for much out there, so I think I made the right choice in moving those out. But uh, right here is the WrestleMania Anthology. This is 85 through 89. This is filled with a whole bunch of awesome pictures in here for you. you got uh, JYD and Terry Funk there, Hogan in the Cage from WrestleMania 2. You got uh, Andre there. You got Big John Studd and Andre from WrestleMania 1. You have Mr. T from WrestleMania 2. There's Hogan walking out with the title on those awesome things that would uh, get you back and forth on WrestleMania 3. You have Mr. Fuji, Muhammad Ali, and Hulk Hogan, which is going to be the new cover of WrestleMania 1 now. Uh, and then you have the, the bloody King Kong Bundy. And then you have Rude and Warrior there from uh, WrestleMania as well. Uh, when you open these up... Now you have nothing much more than the match listings. These are mostly highlighted uh, by if you've been watching YWC videos for a good while. Uh, Gemini 686 uh, did a, I believe it was Countdown for WrestleMania 26. 
uh, all the WrestleManias in 26 days where he would show these off as he was running down the cards. Uh, when you open it up to where the discs are, they fold out like this. Nothing really that spectacular when they come with another book that uh, I think just has pictures in it, if I'm not... Oh, this just shows you the matches one more time, but then you have the epic stare down of uh, Hogan and Andre there for you. Um, the discs, I don't like them. I'm buying the new ones, mostly hoping that we get some new sort of uh, artwork on the discs. These are just basic discs, as you can see. I'm trying to hold it where you can see it better, but I haven't really figured out. Ah, I flipped it! Um, but if you look at them on the inside, the only the, uh, text that's on them, it says WrestleMania, the Complete Anthology, Volume 1. It says WrestleMania 1. It says that it was produced in uh, 2005. And uh, WrestleMania, the Complete Anthology, WrestleMania 1 is on the inside ring. Uh, WrestleMania 1, WrestleMania 2, WrestleMania 3. When you get to WrestleMania 4, uh, as you can see, you can see sort of a burning on the top discs. This is one thing that I don't like, and I'm honestly buying, hoping that they fix on the new sets. And if they come out and they're the same as they are now, it'll be a reason that I think I might be returning them and not needing them again. I mean, WrestleMania 15 uh, will be one to really pick up that I think might be worth it to my collection. Um, but the rest of them, they're just going to be the same discs over again. It isn't going to be that much of a thing. But as you can see right there, it says Side A, WrestleMania, The Complete Anthology, Volume 1. And then when you flip it over, it's a double-sided disc where you have to put in to get uh, side two, disc B. Um, I'm not a real big fan of that. I've known some music CDs that came out that way, but this is the only movie CD that I've only ever seen uh, come out like that. But then again, WrestleMania 4 was so big of a DVD, or so big of, a, of an event, that even on VHS it had to be put on two separate tapes. I remember going to the uh, store at Blockbuster and thinking I was going to get charged for two tapes because I was renting two. Uh, they would always have a rubber band together. And a few times I even tried to sneak just renting one of them and then the clerk would always notice, like, oh, this is a two-disc set, and go get the other one. And then I felt like they were giving me a deal because they were only charging me for one. But here's WrestleMania 5. WrestleMania 5 is a, disc, is a side A, side B as well. Pretty long event there. Highlighted by the Mega Powers uh, Ultimate uh, Turn there for you. We go on to the next thing. This is uh, Volume 2. It shows you uh, WrestleMania's uh, 1990 through 1994. This is uh, Volume 6 through 10. Awesome pictures there for you on the inside. The Brandon Andre, Brett vs. Owen, Mr. Perfect, and uh, the big boss man Lex Luger. And Yoko, uh, you got Razor Ramon there on top of the ladder, Shawn Michaels and Tatanka, uh, Sergeant Slaughter and Hogan, and then you got Hogan Warrior there for you. Uh, these are the on the insides, they're basically just going to be the same with the matches there for you. Um, let's see, on side A, side B's is uh, WrestleMania 6, uh, 7, 8 goes back to just being a single sided one, 9 is a single, 10 is a single uh, right there for you. That's the one thing that I really hope that they are improving with the new sets that are coming out, is that they're going to have some sort of artwork on the box. Or I apologize, on the disc, and they're not going to do it. When you look at um, WrestleMania 4, I was the first one that I checked because I knew it was the longest with the, um, uh, with the whole um, tournament on there. Uh, it says that it's only one disc, so we'll have to see what's going on with that one, but... Here we go on the next set that is Stone Cold. We have Undertaker. As you can tell by looking at the pictures, it's a new era of guys in this set. Uh, Shamrock and The Rock. Then we have Owen right there for you in the Nation of Domination. Uh, we got Brett and, uh, and Michaels. And then we got Michaels and Austin as this is really going down. Then you move on. Oh, this has uh, number 15. 15 is one that I wanted to talk about. When you look at WrestleMania 15, I own it this way. Uh, so it's not like I don't own WrestleMania 15, but I don't own the original WrestleMania 15. It's the only WrestleMania that I'm missing. It sells for about $30. Maybe I should have jumped on the one that Above Average Muda was selling this week. Um, but I don't know. I, and for something that I already own, I didn't want to drop 30 on it. And I know that it will come around. There's been times I could have bought it for 20 and just uh, it just didn't pull the trigger. Uh, just because I already own it and I don't want to own it again. Um, but it would be good to own it on a, on a regular DVD. We'll see what, what it's like, especially with no blurs on it as well. Um, and this right here is the, uh, 
the murder of all blurs 2000 through 2004. We got Benoit there for you. That probably won't be happening anymore. Uh, we have Jericho. We have uh, The Rock and Hogan. And then we have Triple H, uh, Big Show. Who the hell are you? John Cena uh, making an appearance. Uh, you know, you have Kurt Angle and Kane. And you have Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar. I can't think of anybody that isn't pictured uh, throughout here. But, um, man, I mean, this is WrestleMania at its fullest all the way through 21. Sort of maybe you can think Randy Orton might be one of the few guys that isn't uh, put on there. But, you know, this set doesn't get a whole lot of love. But when it comes down to it, when I started doing, you know, WrestleMania DVDs, uh, and, or I started collecting DVDs. Even when I started collecting VHSs, WrestleManias are WrestleManias. You know they're going to be the best all around every year, the top of the top. And it was the first thing that I got on VHS when I started collecting wrestling VHSs. This is a must-have and should be in any wrestling collectors. Uh, these are only selling for $85 right now. Make sure you pick this up. I want to see this in more wrestling collections. You don't have to buy the really expensive leather-bound one with Vince McMahon. If you can afford it, pick it up. But it's not a must-have like this is. This is a must-have, guys. Pick this up.